Hi, this is John Cardell. I'm going to show you how to install VirtualBox to install a Windows operating system in uh, Linux Mint 13, and this is the same process you use for Ubuntu. First thing you'll want to do is go to virtualbox.org, go to Downloads, and select the Linux um, operating system because this is Linux. Okay, get the latest version for Ubuntu. It doesn't matter if you're using Linux or Ubuntu. If you have the latest version of Linux, get 12.10. If you're running uh, Linux Mint 12 get, get, or Ubuntu 12.04, get this version right here. If you have the 32-bit, you will down here. If you install the 64-bit version of that program, I would use the AMD 64. You click on it. It asks you to download it. You hit OK. As you can see, I have already downloaded it, so I will not do it again. And once that's done, you go to where it is downloaded, search for it. I put it in the downloads directory, and you see VirtualBox. Here's a file. Right click on it, it says Open with GW Package Installer. Just click it, and when it loads the program, it's going to ask you to install it. Since I have it already installed, it's going to say reinstall package, but I'm not going to. Yours would just say install package. So I'll close out of here. Once that's done, I'd reboot my computer. It'll run a little cleaner. You don't. Um, and then once it's reloaded, you just open it up, and it'll be under. It should be under uh, what is it? System tools, virtual box. Okay, as you can see, I already have a Windows 7 version installed. But what I'm going to do is reinstall it now to show you the steps. First thing you do before you do anything else, and remember you will not have this one here. This will all be blank, but it doesn't matter. I'd open up my DVD-ROM drawer, install the Windows 7 or Windows XP installation disk, whichever one you want. And uh, now that, since that's being loaded, I'm going to uh, click on New. See how it asks you what you want to uh, install Windows XP, Windows 7. I'm installing the Windows 7 64-bit. I'll call my project Windows 7. Again, it's the 64-bit uh, version. Then you hit Next. It, the default is 512 megs of RAM. I changed mine to 1024 to get a little bit more uh, boost. And then the virtual drive, it has it at 25 as the default. Just uh, click on Through and change this to 50. If you have XP, uh, 25 is fine, but if you're going to do Windows 7, I change it to 50. And it depends on what kind of uh, hard drive you have. I have a 180 gigabyte solid state drive, so I have plenty of room. Okay, see how it's all set? I have this one installed, I have this one installed. All you got to do is go to, uh, I mean, just keep this open and click Start. It asks you what drive your CD-ROM drive is, which will uh, install the program. I show mine is in the correct, uh, you know, the DVD-ROM drive, and now it's starting to load. Just follow the steps like you normally would. There's not much to it. It loads fast. I'm going to take you through the initial parts, but when you get into it, you know how to um, finish. We're just going to load the files real quick. Okay, as you see, it's just like installing it on a regular computer. I'm using the English United States version. I'm going to connect install now. And now it's starting, and you're going to choose the uh, virtual drive as your hard disk drive. I should have two of them since I have two versions of Windows installed. Of course, you accept the uh, license terms. Custom. And now it asks me for the 50 gigabyte unaccounted space. The reason why there's only one is because these are two completely different virtual centers. All you got to do is hit next. And now Windows is installing. Once it's finished installing, I will get back to you to finish the, um, to finish the uh, installation process.
Okay, now we're going to go to the second part of this uh, video, and it's going to show you how to create a um, and how to install Windows 7 in VirtualBox. Just hit the Start menu, go to um, Graphics, no Sound and Video, and there's Record My Desktop will be located right there, which is not what I want. I don't know why I opened that. Go to uh, System Tools, and there's the Oral VM VirtualBox. Okay, now when Windows 7 has been installed, as you can see here, all we have to do is start it up. As we wait, you can enjoy to listen to my Enya music in the background. Okay, as you can see, we have two steps we must do. The first is to go to Devices and install Guest Editions. I have already done this. But when you click on this, a window will appear right here, and you click and double click it or just click it and install the Guest Edition software. It takes a few minutes, just keep hitting yes, yes, yes when it asks you what to do. And then you're going to have to click on Folders. Uh, right click on it actually where it says short folders right click on it opens up as you can see I have already created one and this is the one I'm sharing how I did this was I hit the plus hit the down selected other I put it on my external hard drive because I need more space and here's virtual what I did was hit create folder and then vir I created virtual box I hit open and I was all done. But now I'm going to hit cancel because I already have it installed. And then what I did is I went over here into my Linux program, went to the hard drive, I copied uh, this folder of software here, my Windows XI Pro. I still have some websites based on the software program. It's good, but it's Windows based. And since I can't run it on Windows because I like uh, Linux now, I had to copy the software. I got it right here. Excite Pro. I copied the whole folder, not this stuff. I copied. I just right clicked and copied the whole folder. Then I went back to the 1.5 file system, found my shared folder, and just pasted it. These two were already in here, but then I pasted. And you can see everything is in here. Now well, I'm going to leave this like this. I'm going to go to the Windows show you where the shared folder is. It's not in your computer. All it shows is your C drive and your D drive, which is your virtual guest editions drive. You go to network, because basically you're sharing, see how it says VBox server? You're sharing this folder on a virtual server. And now here's all the software inside there. Now here's the one on Linux. Well, let me go back to the, uh, just inside the virtual box to see everything is exactly the same. If I double click on that, Double click on that, you'll see everything's the same. Backups, parse, PHP, HTML pages, registration, software. Now whenever corrections I make here using Windows or here using Linux, they, they will both appear on both where you can share the uh, files. And that's it. It is that easy. There's not much more to do it. Enjoy your new Windows VirtualBox installation. And the reason why I prefer it is look at how fast it is. It runs almost as fast as Windows. Here's Internet Explorer for your Internet Explorer lovers. Everything just comes right up. Well, here I get a Internet Explorer welcome screen. And then when you're done, all you got to do is hit Start and shut down like you normally would Windows. It's not going to shut down your computer. It's shutting down the uh, Windows and its virtual server. It's like its own little computer in there. And once it's done, you're done. Then you right click on this, and VirtualBox is now closed. Thanks for watching. My name is John Cardell, the WordPress Warrior. Please subscribe, for, and I will have more future uh, websites available hopefully soon.